Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're covering the envelope budgeting me method. Um, here we cover all things related to personal finance. So we're covering the envelope system. It is a classic when it comes to budgeting. It's a hands-on approach to money management that's been around a while. So we'll cover what it is, the pros, the cons, help you figure out if it's the right budgeting method for you. Hello, I'm Eva and I'm the founder of Fear Search Money. After two years of unemployment, I'm back in debt. I got out of debt before using my plan, I'm doing it again. And this channel's about normal ways of getting out of debt, not the extreme ways that litter the internet. And we'll cut through the lies and misinformation being told to us because that's what's keeping us in the dark and keeping us poor. So what exactly is envelope budgeting? It is a cash-based budgeting method where you allocate a certain amount of cash to different spending categories um, each month. And then you place it and label the envelope. Some have like some really cute envelopes out there, but that's for another video. Uh, although this isn't a DIY, so <laughs> anyway. So here's how it works. Beginning of each month, you decide how much money you want to allocate to various spending categories, such as groceries, dining out, entertainment. Then you take that amount of cash and put it into separate envelopes, labeling each category. As you spend throughout the month, you use only the cash from the relevant envelope. Once an envelope is empty, that's it. There's no more spending in that category until the next month. The goal is to keep your spending within the limits you've set each month um, for each category. And it's really a simple, tangible way to control your spending and to stick to your budget. Pros of the envelope budgeting. So what are the pros? Um, and will this be a good fit for you? So first, it provides a clear, uh, provides clear spending limits by physically separating your cash into different envelopes. You have a visual reminder of how much cash you can spend on each category. And this can help prevent overspending and make it easier to stick to your budget. Let's face it, we spend less when we're paying cash. Second, it encourages discipline. Since you're working with actual cash, you're more likely to be mindful of your spending. It's a more tangible way to see where your money is going and helps reinforce like the budgetary discipline. Third, it's easy to use. Envelope budgeting doesn't require like these complex tools or technology, just cash and envelopes. Like You can go to the dollar store and get envelopes. Like that's it. So the simplicity makes it accessible for everyone, regardless of their tech savviness. All right, but like everything in life, there are some cons. Um, so the drawbacks for this one is it can be inconvenient and carrying around cash and managing like multiple envelopes can be cumbersome, especially in today's digital world where most transactions are done electronically. It may not fit well, um, it, it doesn't fit well in a cashless lifestyle, which we're going towards. There are some places that encourage you to just tap your card, all right? Um, second, it doesn't track non-cash expenses. So if you do most of your spending through debit and credit cards, you will need to manually track those expenses to ensure they are aligned with your envelope limits. And this can be tedious. Third, it has limited flexibility. If you overspend in one category and have money left in another, you can't easily relocate the funds without breaking your envelope system. And this can make it harder to you know, adjust the budget mid-month, all right? So is the envelope budgeting system, method, whatever, right for you? It's a great method if you prefer working with cash and need a simple, straightforward way to control your spending. 
It's especially useful if you struggle with overspending and need a, like a visual and tactile way to manage your money. However, if you primarily primarily use <laughs> digital payments, um, you might find carrying cash inconvenient. You may need to consider other budgeting methods that better suit your lifestyle. Um, or because it's not an either or, or like if you're doing this method, you can't do the other, you can combine the different methods. So let's say there's another method you prefer, but you're, you allocate your grocery money in cash in an envelope, all right? See, see what I did there? Like you can meld all of it. It's what works for you. It's personal finance for a reason, okay? So that is the envelope system. Um, there are some like really cute DIY videos on how to make like really nice envelopes. So if you're crafty like that, <laughs> I recommend them. Um, so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.